And was there a reason why is Northwestern an HBCU? Northwestern is not. No. Was there a no. reason why you went to a PWI for your PhD? It was. It was. My um my professors recommended that I do that. Mm. Um, they thought that it would be better at the time. They thought it would be better for me, and uh, so they recommended go to a PWI. I picked Northwestern. They like they like Stanford. My advisor. One of my advisors went out on the West Coast, mm -hmm. and so I looked at some West Coast schools, and I also looked at uh, Northwestern. So, okay, so we're going to get into that, and then we're going to get back to your story. Just okay. as an HBCU student, right, yeah. when it comes to that next level of education, do you think it's good to get a level uh, education from a PWI or a school that's not an HBCU? You know, I, I'll tell you this. I think grad school, particularly PhDs, mm -hmm. are really entirely different. <clears throat> And so at a university, like when you went to Virginia State, mm -hmm. Virginia State's a, and most schools are like this in some ways. They, they, they have this community um, that's trying to embrace you, right? Sometimes it embraces you well, sometimes it doesn't. But it's kind of a collection of a lot of people. At the PhD level, it really is you're working with an individual. Mm. Um, I went to Northwestern, but I didn't, actually, that's not true. I spent a lot of time being a part of the culture at Northwestern. But most PhD students don't. Most PhD students are in a lab. They work primarily with their professor and with their lab mates. Mm. And so number one in terms of looking at grad school, particularly getting a PhD, is finding the right mentor and advisor that can help you get out, that is working on things that you're interested in and is, and is very committed to you graduating. Mm. And so be that at an HBCU or a PWI. Okay. Uh, that's what I recommend that okay. folks do. So, so you feel like it's really about what your, your goals are and then finding like which school can best fit that goal and the people that can help you get attain that goal. Really. Exactly. But I almost go backwards. It's, it's, it's figuring out what you want to do, mm -hmm. finding the people that do that that can help you out, and then what schools they're at. Okay. Right. Makes, You're almost looking for the people first. Makes sense, right? Because yeah. that's a that's like a conversation that a lot of my friends are having now that like we graduated and it's like, okay, the next level of education, do I go to H HBCU again or do I right. go to a PWI, right? Um, because it's like, you know, sometimes at HBCUs we have that culture, but then sometimes you'll get out in the world and it's just like, okay, not everybody is going to embrace you. Not right. everywhere is right. going to be that community feeling, right? So sometimes the PWI gives you that exposure to that different part of the world. Yeah. I, you know, I am, and I am not in favor of that. Mm. Like, I don't believe it's that hard. I don't think for black people that it is terribly difficult to figure out how to move around in a world that does not always embrace you. Mm. That is not a lesson that it takes four years or two years to learn. Let's talk about it's it. It's not. It's Let's just not. Okay, so, so, so you feel like... When, when they try to pull the diversity argument, that's not something that we need necessarily. No, no, no. I think that any, most African-Americans, mm -hmm. two, three weeks on the job, have we'll figured that part out. <laughs> we'll that, it's not, we'll I mean, it. right. Or, or any, anywhere you go, you, you figure that part out. Mm. It, and it's a part of life, so we deal with it all the time anyway. Uh, I think that if, and again, I'm not saying that HBCUs are right for everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that I don't buy that particular argument, right? Mm. Um, and I believe that uh, young people should go to the place that is going to make them the most successful. And if you do well in school and you learn as much information as you can, no matter what institution you go to, you're going to be set up for success. Mm. right? And so you want to go somewhere that's going to set you up for success. And if it's a small school, if it's a big school, if it's a military academy, if it's an HBCU, you need to go where you're going to be successful. Okay. All right. I agree. But I'm, go, go, go. I, I'm here to have we the... We can disagree. Yeah, I'm, I'm so here to have like the con counter... Count to counter argument. Okay, I don't know okay. why it took me so long to say that. Okay. Um, but I feel like sometimes when it comes to the PWI versus HBCU argument, um, I don't think it's necessarily of okay, HBCUs aren't better, which is an opinion, aren't better because they can't be better. I think it's the lack of resources, right? So I think that when you if I if I put uh if I put a school like um Harvard, right, mm -hmm. against Spelman, right, mm -hmm. would be the number one HBCU. There's going to be differences there, right? But I think the difference is more so in like, the funding that goes into the both of the uh, institutions. How do you feel about that? I think Virginia State University is the best school in the country. I think HBCUs are the best schools in the country. And I don't think that because I work here. I work here because I think that, mm. right? And so for me, there is a, certainly a difference in resources and funding. And that is important. Mm -hmm. Money is important. Mm -hmm. But I'll give you an example. The best bands in the country, and everyone knows this, the best marching bands in the country are at HBCUs. I agree, yeah. They don't have the best uniforms or mm -hmm. the best instruments. Mm -hmm. They don't march on the most expensive fields. 
They don't march with the most expensive teams that play on the team. They're not, the, the teams aren't, aren't the teams that win the national championships, but the bands are the best bands in the country. Mm. So we create excellence. It's not about how much resources you have. You can't mm. buy that excellence. We are that excellent, right? I agree. And so I would argue that there are other areas of our campuses that might not get the same kind of shine because they don't march on the field every Saturday, but they have the same level of, of excellence. I believe that our HBCUs are among the best institutions in the country, and it's those institutions that are helping young people chase what we call the American dream, mm -hmm. which are the best schools. It's, it's the community colleges. It's the HBCUs. It's are predominantly undergraduate institutions. The institutions that many people will name are the most prestigious institutions, but prestige does not equal excellence. Mm. It just means they're prestigious. You sound like my dad here. <laughs> hey, look, I mean, so I really no, believe no, in yeah. this. And I don't, mm -hmm. to me, it's not even a competition. And it's not a competition because we already won. Mm. Just because other people don't know that we're the best doesn't mean that I'm sitting around waiting on them to figure it out. This leads to a lot of my other questions. Good. Right? So you're super passionate about HBCUs, right? So yes. what...